Oh, there's one. This is a nice one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at the fight on this guy. Beauty. Right off the bat. Do you dare to follow me? I'm actually hiking up the road over here because I want to get to this pipe. This river comes to this drainage pipe right here and it's got a lot of water flowing through it but when it rains it dams up so that's going to be the perfect spot to get to right now and try and fish that. But whenever you're fishing these places you want to look for where it pools up and those are the best spots. So you can see the water's flowing through here nicely because it has just rained. There's the pipe right down in there. You can see how the water pools up nicely, nice and calm in there. I'm Ricky Myers and today we're going on a cane pole fishing adventure. I've been wanting to get out here after this rainstorm because you got all this water flowing through here. It's a nice pool at the end of this pipe so the fish should be all sitting right in here. It's normally not like that. It's usually about three inches deep but now you got nice high water dammed up from all the water flowing through here. So there should be a lot of fish down here. This only happens when it rains because it's normally not like this. So we're gonna go and do that right now. I'm gonna be using these little pieces of shrimp here. I'm gonna just cut them up and then put them on the hook. I walk with tape on this hook right now because obviously I don't wanna get hooked and break a little piece of shrimp off. Bites it. Got the bar pinch down on this hook. Not really hooking on that well right now because it's still frozen. So it's just breaking apart. I'm just gonna take this with me down there because I know it's probably gonna break apart quite a bit. And I'll need some more. So I got the full cane pole going here. It's pretty tight down there. I'm gonna go down in there, this pipe, and then I'm gonna see what I can get. So here we go. I'm just kinda walking down here on this pipe. But you can see it's a really big pipe. And then look at how this water pools up. So I'm thinking there's gonna be some fish in here. I got this tree overhanging, so it's kinda hard. Dip it in right there. See what we can get here right off the bat. First cast. Oh, and I think something bit it off right off the bat. It was really small. I'm waiting for this shrimp to thaw out just a little bit. That's why it's coming off the hook so easy because it's frozen. Normally I like it where it's not frozen, but it's just coming off. So I think I had something bite right off the bat. Normally this pipe does not have this water pooled up like this. It only lasts for a couple days and then it goes down really shallow, like three inches. But they should be hanging out in here right now. Drop it right there. Oh, and I had another bite. See, it's coming off the hook really easy because again, it's frozen. We don't want it frozen. I like it thawed out a little bit. Try a little bit of a bigger piece. They keep biting it off right off the bat. I'm going to put some bacon on. That stays on. I like to use clam too. 
clam stays on pretty good. He's eating it right away. Let's see what happens right in this little spot. Let him take it this time. Oh, and I had him. Shit. I had him again. They're taking it right off. And right now it's friggin'. I can already see it. There's a lot here. This pipe's always got fish in it. Let's see if that works. I don't even know what I don't even know what those are. I'm assuming they're sunfish. I did see a big bowfin in here before. Let's see what happens right over there. Oh, it's gone again. Crap. I'm gonna try this shell part. On the shrimp, it might work a little better. Just gonna toss it right in there. And there, I got him this time. I got him this time. Look at this beauty right here. This is a beautiful fish. Oh, 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 shit. Okay. That would have been a disaster if he would have went down there. Can't really rinse him off here. But look at this little guy. Isn't he a beauty? Look at this. Look at this little guy. Isn't he a beauty? Look at that. Beautiful little fish right here. Look at him right here. Just a beauty. And let's just throw him back. He fell. He's going to be just fine. And then there he goes. Beautiful catch right there in this pool. Nice little bluegill. So you can see every time I let it go in there, it's getting bit right away. They're all pooled up right in here and they're biting like crazy. Tons of nice little fish like you can see. Be great to take home for a little pond pet. It's really a tight spot here. It's a beautiful little catch right there. Okay, let's see what we can get again in here. Dip it in right there. Just let it drift down a bit. Just swing it. See, I got this tree overhanging right here, so it's kind of hard there. That's a nice shot right there. It's right alongside of that log. There's got to be more in here. Oh, there he is. I got, got another one. Oh, and he's off. Shit. That was a nice one. Let me try in this corner right here. There's one, there's one. Oh, and he's off again. Had another one on there. It was the same kind. Same kind of little bluegill. Ooh, there's a lot of bubbles coming up there. That's interesting. Lots of bubbles that just came up there. I don't know what the hell that was, but that was pretty interesting right there. Oh, there's one. I got him right now. Look at this beauty right here, you guys. Look at this beauty. Got another one, another nice one. So this one's a this one's a sunfish. This one's an actual sunfish. Little sunfish. Look at this guy. That might be a bluegill. Hook comes right out because I got the bar pinched down, and then there he goes again. Got to watch the spikes on these guys. They go crazy. Grab them right under here. You want to drop him? Look at how beautiful that one is. Look at that little blue line under his eyes there. Look at how beautiful that is. Beautiful little fish. Look at him right here. Another little beauty. Let's toss him back. Here he goes. There he goes. Just like that. Beautiful. Nice. Look at the size of this pipe. Just standing right on top of it. The water dams up. Catching a bunch of them right in here. tossing it out because there's not a whole lot of room to cast here. Got one. Nice one. Look at this one. Here's another one. So I'm just pulling out. Ooh, this is actually, this is different now. This is actually a sunfish warm mouth. It's not like those sunfish. I can tell how big his mouth is on this one. So I'm just going to get them right here I can actually lip this one okay let's get the bait out okay we got a little beauty right right here I have a little problem again okay he got it. okay look at this little beauty you guys look at the colors on him isn't he beautiful look at that 
beautiful right here. I'm gonna toss him back. Okay, there he goes. Just like that. Swam away like nothing. Beautiful. I'm gonna try it again here. All I'm using is little pieces of shrimp. Biting like crazy. Drop it down right there. There's one, got one. This one seems bigger, look at this one. Wow, let's pull up this one right here. This is a bigger one. Look at this one, you guys. This is a beauty. This is another sunfish. You can see how small his mouth is compared to the last one. Oh, shit. Issues with these guys right now. They're all over here in this little pool. Look at that one. Beautiful. I'm gonna throw him back. What a beautiful fish. Here he goes, right here. There he goes. Another beautiful catch. They're in the river here, so these aren't landlocked or anything. They come as the water comes high so i knew when all this water was going to be flowing through here they're all pooled up in this little pool just waiting for um food to come down i actually consider cane pole fishing to be a form of martial arts because there's a lot of uh technique involved I'm just kind of throwing the bait in now because it's so close here, I can't really cast. But that's okay, it still works. It still works exactly the way I want it to work. Maybe we can get a little catfish out of here or something. I'll try right, I see that's why this cane pole is so effective. That log, I don't even have to cast. I'm just reaching over and then I'm just gonna drop it right down, right in that little pool right there where it stops. And I got one right in there. Beautiful fish right here. Look at this one. Another beauty. It's loaded with them in there. Look at this one. Look at this beauty right here. I got the barb pinched down, but he's right in the side. Okay, I'm trying to be gentle with them. There it goes. Gentle as possible. And that's a nice little beauty right there. Nice little sunfish. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Let's toss him back. There he goes. It's perfect timing to get this water flow after the rain. Okay, I just fished that pipe. It was great. I'm gonna stop at this mini little lake. Thought it looked pretty good, so I'm gonna give this a shot. See if there's anything in this little lake here. I'm sure there is. The water is pretty high right now, so that's good. Filled up pretty good. There's usually some bigger, bigger ones in here, so might as well just give it a shot on the way out. It's getting dark. I just want to come out and do a little quick cane pole fishing session. Put this on right here. Now I got more room here to cast. Which is easier. I know this this is deep here, so see what happens. Right in there. Now I can really nice shot right there. There's one. This is a nice one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at the fight on this guy. Beauty. Right off the bat. Look at this one. This is a beauty right here. Look at this one. 
And this is a big one too. I can actually, whoa. Oh, really slippery. Should have another glove on, but that's all right. Look at this nice sunfish warm mouth right here. That's a beauty right there. Barely got it hooked. Hook's gonna pop right out just like that. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Way to end the day. Nice little catch right there. I'm gonna let him go. And then watch this. And then there he goes, just like that. Beautiful fish. I'm just gonna throw the rest of my bait in here. This little lake sometimes comes close to drying up. I can already see there's fish eating it. Get a little treat here on the way out. Great little lake, lots of nice little fish in here usually. Sometimes when it rains really hard, the river connects. You can already see him eating it. So we had a great day here, cane pole fishing right off the end of this pipe. It was a lot of fun. As you can see, cane pole fishing is great. It's not always about catching that big fish. You can come here, you can catch tons of fish one after another, use some shrimp, small little hook, pinch the barb down, you can just catch a ton of fish. It's so much fun. I might actually get an aquarium soon and put some of these fish in it. I think that'd be really neat. Those are just beautiful fish right there. You can see the colors on them, beautiful little fish. But I'm gonna head out now, it's getting to that time. Beautiful sunset, nice day. So if you like to hike, bike, camp, cook, and fish, I'll see you on the next great adventure.